Well, tonight, more and more teens are finding themselves homeless, and there are very little options right now for housing. Some new legislation would make it easier for shelters to take them in. Our Kyle Macon is here for you now with a closer look at the bills. Sherry, according to the National Coalition to End Homelessness, 30,000 teens are on the streets every night. Today, I spoke with an organization that houses homeless youth, and officials there say shelters want to do more. We had over 300 youth that we served in the last year, uh, and, and those are youth ranging in age from 12 to 24. Jennifer McMahon has been working with homeless youth for the last 16 years with the Child and Family Charities. She says Ingham County is seeing an alarming amount of young people needing help. And to make matters worse, unhoused teens are more likely to become a victim of a crime than adults. Again, they're very, very vulnerable for being preyed upon by human traffickers. So it's so critical that we get them off the street and into someplace safely as quickly as possible and then we rebuilt from there on something more permanent and sustaining. But it's no easy task to find housing for teens. Right now, the state requires shelters to contact the teens' families within 24 hours. After that, shelters are required by law to call Child Protective Services. Now, if House Bill 4085 is passed, it will give shelters 72 hours to contact the family. But McMahon says this is not about harboring runaways or reducing parental consent. We could do a lot for them. You know, we're just bound by that 24 hour rule right now where, you know, it could be a parent who is out of town. It could be a parent who just doesn't have, um, you know, regular access to be able to accept phone calls within a certain period of time. McMahon believes if the bill is passed, it will give shelters in Michigan more time to connect youth with housing in hopes of getting them off the streets and back on their feet. So they can be contributing members of our, our community and, and not feel so helpless and vulnerable like they did at the beginning of their housing crisis. 